Hey everyone, welcome back to Ragtag Stacking. Uh, in today's video, I want to talk a little bit about uh, gold, the uh, the one ounce gold compared to the fractional gold, and uh, what is better to buy. Now, for me, I like buying both. Uh, I only have one. I only have one of the full one ounce, but that's uh, you know that's just getting my uh, that's getting my stack going. You know what I mean? I want to pick up some more one ounce coins to go along with the fractional. I kind of look at it as you know the one ounce is going to be my deep stack. That's not going to be touched, and uh, some of this fractional stuff can be used you know in potential uh, SHTF situations. The uh, the smaller stuff is more liquid. Keep hearing from everybody that of course the uh, the fractional stuff does carry a higher premium so that's why a lot of people do uh, like to wait and hold up and save to get that one ounce coin uh, but uh, that's basically the uh, only argument for uh, you know just going with the one ounce is that it has that lower premium because the liquidity on the one ounce isn't better than the fractional you're gonna have an easier time finding a buyer with your fractional stuff than the one ounce and the one ounce is a huge amount of you know wealth in one coin so say you you just kind of I don't know have an emergency that just requires you know three or four hundred dollars you don't need to go and liquidate something for two grand just to cover that when you have some other pieces here that will cover it and you you know won't have to turn this entire coin back into fiat if you just need a certain specific amount of fiat but that's just me like I said I stack both and like I mentioned there are some people where the premium is just a sticking point and they will not uh, consider stacking the fractional but I went on to the computer and I went on to one of the uh, the price aggregating sites where it takes a bunch of online dealers and it compiles the cheapest prices there and I went on the uh, US sites and the Canadian sites to compare the one ounce to the premium and uh, the results might surprise you because the premium isn't as drastic as a, of a difference as a lot of people think it may be so yeah I'm just gonna jump on the computer now and show you some of these price comparisons Okay, I'm here on uh, metalmarkup.com and I'm gonna be on the US site here first. This goes through 49 different US dealers. And as you can see at the top, the, um, the spot price is 18.89. And uh, just going down here where it says the, uh, the best price that you can get is this uh, one ounce gold bar and it currently has a 1.51% premium. And you continue down, most of the ones that you see here are bars until you get to the first coin, which is actually a fractional size. So if you're looking for the cheapest coin that you can get on the American site here, it's actually this half ounce gold commemorative arts medal. And it's still a ways down until you get to your first one ounce gold coin. And it's the 2021 Barbados Trident one ounce gold coin. And the price of that one is 1940. And then there's a few more bars underneath that until you get to the Britannia, then the Australian kangaroos, and then you start getting into some more coins here. So you can see that you're, you know, right around the, well, the best one there was 1.51% premium. Then you get down into like the 3.05, 3 3.20. You know, it starts getting a little bit more expensive the, the more you go down because, you know, the top is the, uh, the best price. So yeah, we know the range for the other uh, one ounce sizes. Let's go down to the fractional. So, uh, it, and it's the first one that pops up here is that 1.78 premium on those uh, half ounce gold coins, the uh, commemorative arts ones. And then I go down a little bit more and the second most expensive uh, is another half ounce thing here, but it's up to 3.27%. So I'm going to scroll down until I find a quarter ounce coin because that is my favorite fractional uh, coin to pick up. And uh, judging by the comments, it is a lot of people's favorite coin to pick up because the the, uh, the next cheapest ones here are, you know, the 10 gram and the 20 gram bars. And you're seeing those are running up in the uh, 4%. Yeah, so I'm just scrolling down a bit more. You can see 20 gram and then get down to the first quarter ounce. It was this, uh, any year one uh, one quarter ounce gold maple leaf in bulk and you can see that the premium is 4.53% uh, and it's $493 so it's a quarter ounce so you times that by uh, 4 and you're looking at 1974 uh, so $1,974 for four of these maple leaves so with the cheapest one ounce price being uh, 1940, you'll see you'll be saving, or you'll be saving $34 if you go with the one ounce 
uh, compared to buying four of these quarter ounce sizes. So it's gonna take me a while to scroll down, so I will edit uh, until when I actually get down to the bottom to find the first 10th ounce one, but you can see that they have a bunch of sovereigns here and some more 10 gram bars. And uh, like I said, it takes a long time, so I'm just gonna edit down to that first 10th. Okay, and it was a ways, ways down the page here, but I finally found some 10th ounce pieces. We got, uh, was it, Battle of the Coral Sea gold coin down to the random year victory in the Pacific. We got four of them here, and they're all the exact same price. $210.03. And underneath you can see it's an 11.17% premium. And uh, with these being the 10th ounce size, if you were to buy 10 of these, you would be paying $2,100. Uh, pretty much on the nose, $2,100.30. Uh, so this one is more substantial, but it's not as much as a lot of people, I think, uh, are thinking in their minds as to what they're going to be paying on premiums compared to the one ounce. Because if you're looking at picking up 10 of these coins compared to one of the full ounce, you're going to be paying, what is it, $160 more in, uh, in premiums there. And now a quick comparison for the Canadian gold sites. Here is a comparison for the cheapest prices on 17 Canadian dealers. And uh, you can see that the bar here is the, uh, the cheapest at a 3.58% premium. Uh, spot price for uh, Canadians up there, it's just a touch under 2400 at 2399 And going down here past some of the bars, the cheapest coin that you can get is uh, $2,488, and it is a 3.71% premium. So you're tacking on around $89 in premiums there onto the, uh, the coin to pick up the, uh, the one ounce Philharmonic. And the cheapest one that I could see here on the, uh, the fractional side is a 6.03 premium. So the cheapest one actually right at the top here is that quarter ounce size and it's this kind of hand poured hexagon gold piece, but it is a 6.03% premium at $636. And times in that by four, that is 2480, uh, sorry, that's 2544. So you can see the premiums aren't too much on this size here. Uh, the full one ounce coin was $24.88, and this one's only $25.44. So you know, you know, up over you know $60 or so in premiums that you're paying. But you know, uh, that's not something that you see a lot of. This hexabar. This is the first time I've ever seen a hexabar. So I'm actually going to go down to the first quarter ounce coin, like I did on the American site, just to do a little bit of a comparison here. And we got a couple right underneath each other, which is weird because it's basically the exact same premium on the quarter ounce coin and, and the tenth ounce coin. We see 11.73% premium on the Britannia going for $670. So yeah, that Britannia carries a higher premium. So uh, that Hexabar was $25.55. Uh, this quarter ounce coin here, the cheapest quarter ounce coin uh, is twenty six eighty if you were to buy four of them. So you're looking at uh, what is it, one hundred and ninety two dollar premium that you're paying on top of the uh, uh, the coin there if you were going to go for four of the quarter ounce. But yeah, like I said, it was very, very uh, interesting to see that this 10th ounce coin is, uh, this 10th ounce maple leaf, it has a better premium on it than this quarter ounce maple leaf that's below it. As you can see, there's a quarter ounce maple leaf that's 12% 12, uh, 12 premium, and the 10% is only at 11.79. So very rarely do you see that. And just looking at it here, it's, uh, what is it, $2,682. So, uh, you know, you're gonna be paying $3 more uh, if you were to pick up 10 uh, of these one out. So yeah, you'd be paying $3 more in premium if you were to pick up 10 of these 10th ounce maple leaves than if you were to pick up four of the quarter ounce gold uh, Britannias. So that's a bit wonky there. You know, you'd have to go down quite a bit more down the list to see the next 
nearest tenth ounce coin. Uh, but as I said, I always look for the, the first one, the cheapest, and do the price comparison there. Because, uh, yeah, you can see how much I'm scrolling down here to find the next tenth. And it's way down here at a 23.73% premium. And that goes way up to $296. So, yeah, you're looking at just under three grand to pick up, uh, you know, this 2021 tenth ounce maple. So that random year one going for, what was it, 268 was it? That's a pretty good deal. So yeah, that's the video. I thought it's, I find it's always easier just to go on to a site like Metal Markup to do a video like this, just so not chasing around a, a bunch of different websites, seeing what their prices are. This one just lists from you know best down to worst, and uh, you know it gives a pretty good comparison, like a, a good one to one comparison there. But as you can see, especially you know with that quarter ounce size, you're not paying too too much above premium. And uh, the quarter ounce size does come with those added benefits of it being, you know, more liquid and uh, not being as much, you know, you know, into one coin as that quarter ounce, like I was saying at the beginning there. And 100%, if you live in a state that requires a, a certain threshold for you to meet, or, or else you're going to be paying uh, extra taxes on the coin, and you can afford to go up and get the quarter ounce, then that does make sense for you to, uh, uh, to go for that one ounce, because... Uh, if you're looking at any of the savings or if it's close, the premiums are close on the fractional, but then you have to factor in, say, like an 8% tax because you didn't reach a $1,500 threshold. So yeah, if it's $1,500 for you to get uh, it so that there's no tax uh, added on to your order, then it does make sense to just save that little bit more to get the one ounce. But yeah, if you don't, if that's not something you have to worry about, then uh, as you can see with some of the premiums that were uh, listed on here, you some doors might have opened for you. You might have a, a bit of a wider variety to choose from, and uh, you may actually dip your toes into uh, the fractional side. But yeah, like I was, I'm not looking to change anybody's mind. I was just trying to show some figures here to uh, to anyone that was interested, because I know that there are some people that are just getting into gold stacking, and they keep hearing that the fractional does carry a higher premium. Premium. Just remember that these are, this is a small sample size I was looking at. I just did a bit of scrolling to look at some of these prices. So you will see a wide variety of prices on different bullion sites. Shop around, make sure you uh, look for your best price. But uh, as you can see, as I said, with that small sample size, the, uh, the premiums that you're seeing or the premiums that you hear that are so much more uh, it's it's not it's not like you're breaking the bank. It's not like you're adding another fifty percent. As I said, in the case of the uh, American site, there, if you were to buy four quarter ounce coins compared to the one ounce coins, I think you're paying something like thirty four dollars extra in premium. So it was pretty negligible. It wasn't that big of a difference. And of course, like I said, with the fractional, it does give you some more options with uh, you know it being more liquid and not having such a high price tag. You know what I mean? You'll be able to to do a bit more with it and uh, not have to uh, burn an entire one ounce gold coin if you don't need to. I said that's why I stack both. The one ounce is something, like I said, I can continue to be stacking the one ounce and putting it off to the side and not touching it. And then, uh, you know, a couple times a month or, you know, once a month, go after a fractional size, whether it's the tenth or the quarter. And, you know, it just keeps building up your stack. That way you can kind of dollar cost average with the fractional stuff. And then maybe you have a little sub uh, budget off to the side where you throw, I don't know, maybe another $200. $300 if you can afford it off to the side to save up for that one ounce coin and maybe you can get it every 12 months every 18 months you can splurge and get a nice one ounce coin let me know what you guys think in the comments and uh, from some of the other videos that I have seen and some of the comments on those uh, there are a lot of people that do love the uh, the fractional I find that there are more people that agree that the fractional there are a lot of benefits to go with the fractional uh, that outweigh the little bit of premium that is tacked on top of it and uh, like I said don't get me wrong do your research do uh, you know when you're buying make sure you price compare because there are some pr there are some stores online dealers that will rob you blind and uh, you will be paying quite a bit more on some coins if you're not paying attention so just do your uh, homework or go to one of these sites that aggregates it like metal, uh, metal markup and there's a bunch of other ones that you can go to as well but I will leave a link to metal markup up because that is one of the best places I go to find the uh, the cheapest prices on silver and gold. But anyways, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and uh, hope you come back for the next one. Thank you.